welcome back to some more insight on the way that I draw. There's no real, uh, no real um, consistent way that I choose to draw or create or shade. I, I can't tell you what I'm, what I'm thinking of really, because I, because I don't know. Sometimes it's uh, it's just a feeling that I get. If, um, there was a darker world out there, or if you could see um, people's characters, you know, their real character, not just their their external looks, but their character and it's a lot of various types of behavior worldwide the a website that, that I frequently visit to uh, remind me that the world is a bit jagged and a bit beautiful is the Live Leak website. If you don't like gory stuff, if you don't like um, violence, and then do not visit it. But I think people should keep an open mind when they visit, see stuff like that because you know in, in America where there's a lot of wealth when compared to other countries you know we have um, so many people behind bars or with drug problems or homelessness people that are hurting and, and need help And, you know, somewhere along the line, what happened? Did the uh, parents give up on them? Did, uh, did they give up on themselves? Did they, uh, who quit on who? Or who was misled? And I think people, humans, um, like many life forms, most life forms, it's they're meant to band together and work together. You even see it in species of monkeys where there's a sense of a tribalism that leads them to, to violence and fighting others. So... There's um, these drawings are just uh, just my feelings as to the the shady side shut the shady side of. Uh, Mankind. But it's also um, has to do with, let's say, I think a lot of the stories I was told as a kid have been in hell. You know, man, that would be pretty. To me, it would be. Um, Pretty macabre being, pretty hardcore person to create a hell for people that did wrong. 
I started to do not understand that because even people that um, commit a murder or a robbery can possibly get life. Now I think it's uh, pretty uh, scary thing if um, you can be sent to prison in darkness for eternity. Another thing about drawing is that it, it lets you, well, it, it lets me, you know, explore these, just these ideas, because, you know, I don't know, maybe this stuff is real that I'm drawing somewhere, or another universe. There's, there's still so much that needs to be explored. And... When I do look up at the sky at night, it, it just reminds me of how, how tiny I am, how um, how much I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And of course I'm not going to live an unfulfilled life if I never get to step on Mars or get, the, uh, get to see an uh, actual picture of Jupiter of its land so with just so much conflict in the world either it's by skin color or by what one calls God and a border and all that it's, um, I'm actually pretty surprised that we haven't all um, nuked each other, or everyone's script picked up a machete or spear or firearm and you know killed the other person. And because I haven't seen that, I believe that you know, there's uh, still a lot of hope in, in us to do more, so much more. When I was younger, I remember. Signing, signing on to um, AOL through my telephone line at the at the house and waiting for it to connect and paying forty nine bucks a month chat rooms and stuff. Playing um, Ninja, was it Ninja Warrior, Shadow Warrior, Doom. I mean, real pixelated stuff. And today, the uh, no, he got what's the new game? Halo Five, Four, Grand Theft Auto Five, all these badass games that I I choose not to play because. Um, I remember drawing, drawing, playing Unreal Tournament, I mean, for hours and hours and hours. You know, dating a girl, having fun with her, and then playing that, so. Um, yeah, that stuff is, uh, I think it's addicting, and I don't want to get into it. Nothing wrong with it, but you can be, you gotta be real careful to played in moderation so you know you could maybe one day I'll find a way to create a, a map for a video game should I ever end up with an opportunity to do to do so. I forget what game, I don't know if it was the Doom game that some of the stages gave me a weird vibe, a creepy vibe when you're playing the, by yourself in the dark and you have um, just the light, the light.
light coming from the, the computer to monitor and the sounds. I think it was Doom. Doom 2. And most of the world doesn't have to no longer go hunt at night with spears and torches and and if I want to, I could just order a, a pizza and get it delivered here. But I think I'll probably cook something right now. I'm done with this video. Or another video. There's a... Yeah, so that advancement. And uh, so many things. It's just... Brings a lot of the mystic feelings. I think they'll always be assholes, always, but you know, just just become successful, focus on, on being the top dog in your field. The best. Don't do don't backstab people. Um, I think if you're gonna backstab someone, make sure that they've earned it and you're a thousand percent cure. I'm sure that it's, it's them that's going to get it. But don't uh, double cross people who don't, uh, who don't deserve it. I do believe in, you know, street justice or, or, um, You know, accelerating what they call karma. Not just, um, but it's also, you know, a risk, you know, that you've got to take. You may get in trouble, so maybe you'll just let it go. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, you never know what happens out there, you know. Never know. I just feel like drawing this, using up. A, a micron here. So yeah, this is uh, an interpretation of us, this drawing. Sometimes my, I feel that my explanation isn't, isn't very clear to, because sometimes I just, I can't find the right words really, but also uh, you know, just a sense of the unknown in these drawings of wonder Sort of like a demon with a crooked nose. Why? I don't know. It just feels like that's the way it should look. That's it for now. And that's my name on Facebook if you want to add me or follow me on there.